Success Solution. Hi, I'm Glenn of Brain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode of Brain Access Solutions, I'm just going to show you what I bought last time from the department store that I'm working with. It's a small chessboard that is made in China. The reason why I bought this is that it's a small, its size is perfect for putting it on top of my small desk in the bedroom. I have another tournament size chessboard and I usually leave that in the kitchen where or in the pantry where my other co-workers can play chess um, among themselves but it's too large for my desk in my bedroom so this is the reason why I bought this for its size okay this is a magnetic type um, chessboard and I'm guessing from the packaging that the chess pieces themselves are made of plastic and has this tiny magnet attached at its base. The width of this chess is less than 12 inches but it's greater than 9 inches so it's not really tiny but it's not an ideal size of chessboard. Anything that is smaller than 12 inches will be difficult to play with another person. So I suggest that you get a larger chessboard if you want to play against another person. So both of you will not be looking at the chess pieces squinting because the pieces are just too small for you to see. It's nice to know that the chess pieces are separated by color and are both neatly packed in small plastic containers so you don't accidentally spill it over the floor if you have first fully opened the chest and this is what usually happens if you have that large um, chest board and you suddenly open it and all of the pieces will just you know um, spread out all over the floor and you'll be finding yourself you know bending down under the table looking for small missing pieces the first thing that i usually like to notice when i'm inspecting a chess piece is the knight because having a knight with good details is an indication of a good craftsmanship Usually from that, you can immediately tell if the company that is producing this chessboard is genuinely caring for the users who will be playing this chess. I don't know, it's probably me or it is a general knowledge that anyone can get, you know, any chess player um, can get annoyed by seeing a knight without um, eyes. And this is, oh, look at this. The king is missing its uh, magnet at the bottom. And I haven't touched the other pieces yet, but as you can see, the king is missing its magnet. Shout out to the manufacturer of this chessboard. Please, next time, don't let your quality control, you know, forget about this small details. Now I'm missing a magnet and it's not good this king will not you know stick onto the chessboard the tallest piece on a chessboard is the king and right now this king is measuring about two inches tall um it's really small but it's not tiny once again it's it's not really so tiny and i'm pretty sure that middle age People can still see these pieces on the board and it won't be a problem, especially if they are wearing glasses.
All right, I guess it's time to test its magnetic properties. I'm just gonna move these pieces on the side and flip over the board and see what I can do about it. Now, this chessboard is pretty decent. The size remains to be the same size when I first measured it. And since it's a square, since it's a square, it means that the measurement across all the sides are equal. The quality of the surface is, you know, if I give the rating for it, it's from 1 to 10, it's probably um, 8 or 9. I'm guessing that the surface is made of a metal sheet. That's why, you, as you can see, the pieces are sticking on it let me just arrange all of these pieces and see if there's something missing like i said it's a pretty decent chessboard but if you're going to play against another person this is not recommendable and look at that without the magnet the king just fell off but if you don't have any other chess available then this is okay you can also play chess against other person with this chessboard and it's not a problem and because the pieces are magnetic it solves the problem of the chess pieces getting tipped over by your hand which is like you no know, because they are too small there's always a chance of tipping off the other pieces over accidentally okay here's why i actually bought this it's for the main purpose of figuring out um end game techniques right now my rating in chess.com is around 800 plus and that's pretty low for you know a chess player but since i'm a beginner i consider myself a beginner even though i learned to play chess when i was six years old but after that i stopped I didn't play chess after 6 years old because I was busy with other things probably and chess was not at the top of my mind back then but recently at the age of 46 you know I kind of developed a liking for this game and I don't know why but it's probably due to my um, competitive nature I always like to improve myself in basketball that's my main you know main sports in life and i see that in chess there's also a kind of competition that's why i'm beginning to like this and even though i'm not going to be you know achieving a, a master you know status i still want to play this game just for the fun right now you can see that i'm trying to checkmate the white piece with the black pieces using only the king and a rook or a tower you know some people prefer to call it a rook and other people want to call it a uh, tower but but regardless of how it is called in the game its chess movement will always be the same for you know for people who doesn't play chess it's like kind of weird for them to see that you're playing chess with yourself and that's something that they won't be easily understanding or they won't easily understand if you don't explain it to them properly but sometimes it's like you don't really feel like explaining it to them and you just say that you know i'm just practicing and with that people can probably grasp the idea behind the word practicing because everyone knows that when you're practicing something it means you're trying to improve yourself and get better on something that you like so it's no different from doing basketball drills by yourself and playing chess against yourself this is the queen piece and we can compare this to a regular chess piece that is being used in the tournaments there is a big difference in size it's like half 
of the regular queen. I think that with the regular size chess piece, it's easier to recognize them on the chessboard as opposed to these small queen or small chess pieces. It might take a fraction of a second to recognize them or differentiate each piece from the rest because of its size. You can see the big difference. It's like David and Goliath in the middle of the chessboard measuring each other's up. Well, I guess that's all there is to it. I'm going to try and fix the missing magnet in the king. I'm going to be using this magnetic um, chip from Fridge Magnets. What I did there is that I made the hole bigger because the magnetic chip from the fridge magnet is larger than the regular uh, magnets attached to it originally. The fridge magnet is on the right. It's kind of bigger but the good thing is it sticks better. Its magnet is stronger than the regular ones. Look at that. Time to flip over the board, see if anything falls off, nothing. Alright guys, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have time, please drop your comments at the comment box below and like this video.